Today I'm gonna to try my hand at turning my first segment in bowl and I wanna try something totally unique by adding pops of color with skateboard wood and epoxy. All right, let's do it. All right, so I just got these skateboard blanks out of the clamps and I think they look really good. I think when I start turning it on the lathe, that color pattern is gonna look really cool and I can't wait to get to that step. But I will say they're not perfectly straight. The way I clamped it up, they've got kind of a, a wave to it. I probably should have used some sort of press to do this glue up, uh, but for now, I think I can make these work. I'm gonna take them over to the joiner and the planer and mill them straight before I cut them into strips and we'll see if it works. I don't know, it'll be an adventure. We love adventures, come on. Okay, this actually turned out really good. Everything's nice and flat, they're straight. I don't see any obvious voids in those skateboard veneer plies. They're gonna cause me issues when I start turning it on the lathe, but again, you never know. I'm also going to add some cherry wood segments and some epoxy segments, and I've got a pattern that I'm gonna create in the bowl by doing that. My cherry is rough, I need to mill it to size, and I need to pour the epoxy and then cut that up to size, and then I can start cutting the segments and gluing it up into the bowl blank. All right, let's do it. Okay, now that I've got the cherry milled up, I can start on the epoxy pours. I'll start by cutting on a circle to be the inside diameter of the solid epoxy ring. That plywood circle gets covered in tuck tape and hot glued to the inside of this round silicone mold. I'm using Total Boat High Performance Epoxy because I can get all these epoxy pours done and cured in one day. I tinted them with a liquid blue pigment and then added pearl white to give me that swirl effect.
I just got all the epoxy pieces out of the mold and the ring segment turned out really good. This, this is gonna work great. The first epoxy block turned out perfect. The second one, however, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got quite a big curve all the way along the length. That curve is about a quarter of an inch deep and it makes this too thin of material to work with. So I think what I'm gonna do is rough this up, sand this whole thing, and then I'll have to pour a couple more layers of epoxy over it. Hopefully I can even that back up and not have it do the same thing again. Then after I do that, then I can finally start cutting these segmented rings. Okay. Running these epoxy blanks through my drum sander gets them perfectly flat and then I can cut them into strips. To make the segmented rings, I'll be using this angle guide called a miter set. I'll set the reference pin to zero, and then the other pin gets set to the number of segments that I want. In this case, I'm doing 12 segments, which equals 15 degrees, and I can set the miter gauge to this perfectly accurate angle. Then it's just a matter of cutting up all the segments. I used a segmented bowl planning calculator to get all my measurements, and I'll link the one that I used down below. The whole glue up process took a few days as I had to use epoxy to adhere any portion that has an epoxy segment. Then I have to wait a full day for the epoxy to cure, resurface the rings, and then do the next glue up.
Okay, last up, I can glue on this scrap wood ring that gives me a place to screw on the faceplate. Next up is turning the bowl, but let me turn your attention to the sponsor of this video, and that's Squarespace. I've had my Squarespace site for over two years now, long before they were a sponsor of this channel, and I'm gonna show you how easy it was to list the segment of bowl for sale on my site. It's so easy that anyone can do it. Whether you're a maker like me, run a business, have a blog, or just need an online portfolio, Squarespace is the all-in-one place to build your website using Squarespace's award-winning website design. Squarespace has beautiful templates that allow you to create your amazing website with no website design experience needed. And you can browse those templates over on the Squarespace website and preview them until you find the one that's right for you. You wanna sell products? Well, Squarespace has all the e-commerce tools you need to get your business off the ground. You wanna put on a class or a workshop? With Squarespace, you can add online booking and scheduling. You wanna go mobile? With Squarespace, each template includes a mobile version. And let me show you how quickly I listed this bowl for sale on my website. I just add a new product to my commerce inventory, upload a picture, write a short description, hit publish, and boom, the bowl is instantly added to my store. Super easy. Head over to squarespace.com slash johnnybuilds to check out your 14 day free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com and use code johnnybuilds for 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks Squarespace. All right, the bowl is chucked up in the lathe and it's finally time to turn this thing. Now, this is my first segment of bowl. I have no idea how this is gonna go. I'm just gonna take my time, have fun with it, and we'll see what happens. This is the worst. So far, this is fantastically messy. I've got the outside of the bowl roughed in pretty well. Went pretty good. There was a couple times that I, uh, I snagged the tool. I went in too deep and it caught. That's not fun when that happens, but the more I did it, the more I kind of got into a groove. Now I've got to work on the inside of the bowl and start getting that round. And in order to make sure that I don't turn it too far, I'm gonna use these. These are turning calipers and whatever the dimension is here, gets translated to here so I know how thick the walls of the bowl are. So hopefully that'll prevent me from turning it too thin. I've got epoxy shavings in my little pocket here. That was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed turning this. Um, it was definitely an exercise in patience, but I think it turned out really well. Sort of looks like a, um, a hot air balloon, I think. 
I'm gonna leave it alone at this point. All I've got left to do is apply some finish and part it off. So as long as I don't screw that up, this thing turned out pretty good. Definitely doing more turning in the future. I really love how this bowl turned out, but then again, I love colorful things. It was a great learning process turning my first bowl, and I've already got some ideas for more segmented bowl projects in the future. Also, to find information on everything I use in this project, make sure to look at that description down below. I've got a 15% off coupon for Total Boat. I've linked where I got the skateboard veneers, and I have links to all the other tools I used, including that miter set. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I've got another video I think you'll enjoy queued up right here and here. Also, I've got a whole bunch of cool projects coming up on this channel, so make sure you get subscribed by clicking here and ring that bell so you get notified. Also, if you watch to the end, comment this. Okay, thanks for checking this one out and I'll see you back here next time.